Athletes, we know that all of you want to come back onto the playing field as soon as possible. So look, the best thing that will help us all get back on the playing field quickly is to get vaccinated. We have been working to help you connect with local providers like Walgreens and, and Bright Aid, and we will continue to do that. You can virtually now get vaccinated anywhere in your communities and do so. Volunteers, parents, everybody, get the vaccine. That will bring us all back together quicker than anything. Athletes, keep doing the fitness. We have seen you doing the fall fitness combine, the virtual fitness, the fitness challenges that are being run uh, both in the fall and in the spring. Keep doing those. We have seen many of you improve your performance by 45%, which qualifies you for the gold medal. That's a phenomenal percentage of increase of performance. Keep doing that because the better you perform on the playing field, the better you will perform in the other aspects of your life, whether it be school, whether it be community. We have seen your weight loss stories. We have seen stories about your blood pressure coming down. We have seen stories about uh, your cardiovascular ability. I could only walk one mile, now I can walk three miles. I could only run 500 yards, now I can run a, a 2K. Keep doing these things. These are extremely important. And keep doing the other things that we have also put forth on the virtual Facebook fitness page. Keep hydrating. Drink as much water as you possibly can, especially now as you're moving into the summer months and back onto the playing field outside. And keep eating right. Those are two of the best things that you can do. Eat right and hydrate. We want you back on the playing field as soon as we can get you there and all of these things will get you back on the playing field. To our athletes in the school programs, we have seen you doing the young athlete programs all over. We have seen you doing the virtual fitness in the schools. We have sent over 550 fitness kits to individual student athletes all over. And we want you to use those, not just right now, but into the future. And we want you to know that there are other things that are part of the Unified Champion School program, the Youth Leadership Program. Recently, we did a great Youth Leadership Summit with youth leaders, both athletes with intellectual disabilities and athletes without, all together in leadership capabilities, talking about leadership and discussing it. It was phenomenal. Keep doing these things. And remember, school athletes, next June, we will be having a USA Games in Orlando, Florida. And for the first time, we will be taking a Unified Champion Schools track and field teams, eight athletes going to Orlando to compete in track and field and represent Special Olympics Virginia. So school athletes, way to go, keep doing it. And we look back to doing stuff face-to-face -face and live when you get back into school in the fall. Parents, you're the real heroes of Special Olympics. You know, some of us do this as a job, a lot of folks volunteer and coach, but you're the parents, you're the caregivers, you're the 24 seven people who take care of our athletes. We want all of our athletes to come back and get back and be face to face. We want them to continue to do the fitness. And I wanna remind you that the risk factors, whether we're in the COVID environment or not, are very, very extreme for our athletes. Two times more likely to face obesity or weight issues two times more likely to face cardiovascular and respiratory issues, five times more likely to contract diabetes, and the lifespan is 16 years young, uh, less than the person without intellectual disabilities. I want all of you parents to know this because keeping your athletes engaged in the fitness part of our program is very important and keeping them engaged in the face-to-face -face aspect of our program is very important. But the fitness, even after we're back face-to-face, -face, will help you combat those statistics. It will help your child, our athletes, combat those statistics. It will make everybody healthier. So face-to-face -face and fitness combined is how we get a better athlete, better health, better on and off the playing field. Volunteers. You're the best. We miss you. We have been a long time since we've seen each other, but we're beginning to see you now. I have seen some of you at special events. I have seen some of you at summer series events. It's important now for us all to get our athletes back out and on the playing field and face to face. I have told people for a year that our athletes knew social distance and isolation way before anyone else did. 
and now everyone has a glimpse into how our athletes have lived their lives. But it's time for them to get back out. And coaches, volunteers, they need your help. Now is the time to get back out. And we lit this cauldron today. Why did we light, light it? We lit it for two reasons. We lit it to celebrate our accomplishments. Those of you who have done the fitness combine, gotten the 45% or the 30% increase in your performance that have gotten you gold or silver medals. We have done the fitness challenge. Those of you who have been recognized either in the, in the, in the uh, distance challenge in the fall or the move challenge in the spring. We have done all of these things and we just want to celebrate the fact that we have all gotten through this last year of COVID-19 and we're looking to open back up and get back to seeing each other face to face, high fives and fist bumps all around. We're also lighting this cauldron so that we can look ahead. We can look ahead at the summer series where you can play bocce, flag football, softball, where you can run track and field, where swimming. On June the 1st, we reopened up uh, the protocol for indoor swimming practice. And then we've always got the fitness. Do all of these things because that's what we're getting back to. We hope to have the fall season like we normally see it. We hope to have fall championships and we all be down in Virginia Beach together celebrating that. So we're looking ahead to that. And we're also looking ahead to selecting this summer and in the fall, our athletes who will go to the USA Games in Orlando. So that when you win a gold medal at Special Olympics and people say to you, hey, you won a gold medal at Special Olympics, what are you gonna do now? You can say the same thing that Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady say, I'm going to Disney World. That's what we want everybody to be back for. All of the stuff like we normally do it, all of the activity like we normally do it. So get vaccinated, keep working, get back face to face, and be brave in the attempt, and we will see you soon.